that more than 67% of us struggle with weight issues in this country. But before you go blaming yourself for being fat, a new study says you can blame somebody else, your friends. <laughs> Obesity is an epidemic in our country, spreading faster than warm butter. But before you blame fast food for your thunder thighs, you might want to take a look at who you're hanging out with. New research published in the New England Journal of Medicine is calling obesity contagious. That's right, if your friends or family are fat, then you're likely to become fat too. The study found a person's chance of becoming obese increased by 57% if they have a friend that becomes obese, 40% if they have an overweight sibling, and 37% if their spouse is hefty. Not only that, but even if your friends or family live out of town, it could still influence you. So how does obesity spread? The researchers think one explanation is that hanging out with overweight folks makes it more socially acceptable and people end up emulating their bad habits. But it's not all about gaining weight. The research showed if an individual lost weight, then their family or friends would likely follow suit. So is group dieting the way to go? Or should you ditch your friends and ring up Nicole Ritchie? <laughs> I think this is just so obvious. Joining us from the National Action Against Obesity founder, Mimi Ross. Hey, Mimi. Also, wellness and lifestyle coach, Kelly Bliss. And in our studio audience, nutritionist Gary Glassman is back. Hello, Ms. Glassman. Yay. All right, so Mimi, let's start with you. Do you think this study is accurate? It's absolutely accurate. It absolutely reflects the trend that we're seeing. We're getting fatter and fatter. Our friends are getting fatter. Our neighbors, our relatives, everyone's getting fatter. The problem, though, is we don't want anything that gives us another excuse to blame anyone mm -hmm. but ourselves. We need to take this study and use it as an awareness for ourselves to be extra vigilant, not really to blame our friends. Take responsibility. Absolutely. Kelly, this thing makes sense to me. Well, it's interesting. The question was, do you think the study's accurate? The question wasn't, are people getting fatter? The study is science. <laughs> scientifically ridiculous. The study was data dredging, simulations, and scientifically very unsound. If those scientists had turned that study in to their doctorate professor, it would have been handed them back to them as being scientifically unsound. I'm astounded at the New England Journal of Medicine for publishing it. But now I agree with you, Mimi, you are so right that people are getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Why? And you know what comes to my mind? Mm -hmm. It has been since the 1960s that we have had pervasive the weight loss industry and people have been pressuring themselves, each other, from their doctors, from their government since the 1960s to lose weight. And you know, I have to think that there is another public figure who also lives a very healthy lifestyle and happens to be uh, an obese man and he keeps saying, how's that working for you? The Dr. idea. Phil? The idea of obese? No, but he wrote a book on dieting. Clinically, <laughs> clinically on, he is overweight. Excuse me, I did misspeak. He, he's only overweight. What I'm saying is we have been pressuring each other for decades to lose weight, and it is not Why isn't changing. it working? If there's so much pressure, why don't we do it? I don't think pressure is the thing that changes people's weight. As a matter of fact, I don't think the issue is BMI or body mass index profiling. I think the real issue is, and Mimi, you speak about this so eloquently, the need for each and every one of us to have a healthy lifestyle, eat healthy, exercise but regularly. But Kelly, if, they say, if a person says, I'm, ha I'm an alcoholic, they say the first thing, don't hang out with your booze and friends. That exactly. is what they say, so but guess what this mean? study said? This study said that this is not true for alcohol, it said it's not true for smoking, and it's not true for women. It said it's only true for male fan friends. The media is this the one that misinterpreted. Yeah, that is a, but, but I mean, is it that different? Well, let me ask you, if, you're, yes. if, if someone sends donuts to the office, are people more likely to have them or not? Yes. When your spouse <laughs> loses weight, typically you start to lose weight yeah, with them. And, we, and, what? and a lot of us have friends where that, that very thing has happened. I think that... Um, as a species, we're social copycats, and when we see a trend happening or a fad, we sort of join in. Emile Durkheim, a French sociologist, said that at first something that seems reprehensible to society, over time, rather than rejecting it, we actually incorporate it, and that's really what's happened with obesity. We've normalized it. We've we've used reasons to make it permissible Fat rather than reject. What do you think of those? Close groups? the shop. They've won. We're at 67 percent overweight. We're headed towards 75 percent. How much more acceptance? Let's do we get need? a quick word from our favorite nutritionist, Carrie Glassman. What do you think? 
I think they're both, Kelly and Mimi are both making valid points. The most important thing is that yes, Obesity has become the norm. I can't tell you how many times people say to me, well, you look at me, and you know, I need to lose a little bit of weight. I'm technically obese, but I don't really look obese. That's because obesity has become the norm. But just as bad behavior can become, you can be influenced by bad behavior, and you can make poor choices. I always call it the mm. twist the arm syndrome. If your friend is eating chocolate cake, and you were planning on eating really healthy and not having it. Take responsibility for yourself, exactly. people. Yeah, Mimi is right exactly. on that point. All right, guys, we got to get going. But if you want to uh, let us know what you think about obesity and the bug and you know if you're hanging out with uh, these people or you can just uh, log on to mdaystore.com we have the greatest website in morning television that's right? absolutely right nicole richie told me stick around jason priestley is just moments away jason